Welcome back everyone to a let's play of Dune 64. I am your host here, the only man whose walking speed is ludicrous speed, Tyron King 10. From where we last left off, the Terror Core is now being plundered. And I always get the feeling to look behind me. So, let's begin this with punching faces. And apparently, the other monsters don't get disturbed unless you do an action. And strangely enough, they can hear you punch the thin air. It's not the monsters growing around. It's not them moving. It's not some kind of communication that goes on. Can these e demons even talk to one another? Like, hey, hey, he's over here. Guys, I'm biting his face off. Uh, what are you guys doing? You're fighting the zombies? That's not nice. You guys are idiots. I mean, really. Anyways, we enter the Terror Core. And actually, pretty soon, I know it's been a long time since I talked about any true secrets as far as, like, the secret keys go. But, uh, actually, in the next level, we are going to remedy that. We very much are so. You and you, turn off. It's always strange whenever you need to turn off a switch. It really makes me shifty eyes. I've been dealing with turning on switches. You know, the switches see me and they're like, Oh my god! Oh my god! That's not pretty to see. Get the hell, knight. Yeah, there you go! Come on, get out of the way! Oh my god, do you hear that? It's my turkey! No, I saw it first. I'm eating all the turkey, damn it! You gotta leave some for me, buddy! No way! My turkey's mine! Well, you know what? Neither of you are getting turkey. Cause it's all mine. Cause, Cause I'm a greedy tyrant. I'm a greedy, greedy tyrant. And neither are these specters gonna get anything out of me either. All right. They get no love. They get no mercy. They get nothing. All right. Specters are the lowest on the food chain. Yes, even imps beat them out. How? Don't ask me. They just do. I swear there was one more specter, unless he ran past me. Yes, he did. He was trying to be all assassin-like. Yeah, it didn't work. Holy moly! Yeah. So, with all these... Ow! Hey! Fireballs and whatnot, alright? It's not good. So... This level is not too bad as long as you always keep your guard up because you always have to be turning off switches. So, yeah, even though that doesn't really matter all that much. But you'll be having a lot of things spawn around you, mind you. So, get these guys out of the way. Because I do believe something nasty is going to come up. I believe. You know what? It's not doom if nothing comes up, really. What kind of Doom game would that be if, like, no enemies suddenly appeared and especially get a great ambush on you by just throwing an unnecessary amount at you? Like that? Uh, no, you go away. I do not want to deal with you at all. Just please go away. You guys are fine. No, not that one. He, them, can just perish for all I care. No! No, not me! Not me! There's a lost soul behind you! You can hit him! No. No. Alright. I'm sick of using the regular shotgun on these fools just to try and save ammo. Because sometimes it doesn't kill them in one hit and it hits them and I'd rather not be hit by a lost soul. I would rather much waste ammo than get hit. Especially by a lost soul. However, if I am to be questioned, whatever or not, I like to have a hell knight in front of my face, I would have to detest. Oh, I hear Mancubus. Ah, with a question mark. Emphasis on the question mark. Ah. Mancubi, rather. Because them's the plurals. It's strange how some words ending in S's. U.S.'s, U.S. of A's, end with Kai, 
or like the I for plural, but some do not like wars. Is it? I don't think it's war side or war side. War, war side, war rye, rye. Ugh, that's so strange to say. <laughs> so that switch actually gets us to a very nice secret. Supercharge and mega armor. In order to grab the supercharge, we have to go back out here. Go up the up elevator. Open sesame, open sesame. Go back out here with the Mancubus. And... Yay! Now we have access to the supercharge, which I'll show you real quick. Because I believe I gotta go backtracking. So, in order to save, like, a couple seconds, I'll be cutting it off and grabbing the supercharge. Yeah, going down that pathway is, uh, health bonuses and the, uh, supercharge. So, yeah. Now we have the yellow key. What's this way? Kaka demons this way! And they like to lunge... Fiery meatballs! I am very much not much in the mood for fiery meatballs, mind you. I've had... Dinner. It was actually quite tasty. So I don't feel like... Having... An unnecessary amount of food. Which is not the way I roll. Alright. So... Ali, you no, come on. Ali, you come. On. What the? Whoa, 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 whoa! What was that? Uh, come on, come on, make it, make it, make it. What the heck is this place? This is so weird. I've never seen this texture before. So there's nothing. Oh, okay, I get it. Ugh. Gives you enough space to run, and then I believe that's the mega armor. So that's how you get that. I believe you have to go. You have to start around here to- Yeah, you gotta start around there to lower down the thing. You don't have to click on any walls or whatnot, thank goodness. Oh, what was that? Oh, no, 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 no. I am not dealing with you. You, go away. Alright, I am not dealing with that. No, spank you. So, um, I did- Yeah, I did- friggin' mess with that switch. So, alright, let's continue on. Oh, what's that? Rocket launcher! Oh, okay, so activating that door lowers that down. Sweet deal. No! Oh god, no! He followed me! There better not be any reincarnations of that one lost soul in Ultimate Doom. It better not be, I swear to Jesus, I will murder everybody. That was the most unfun thing to do, ever. <gasps> no! I almost shot the rocket too! Actually, to be honest, I would have liked to, but... And how did I not suffer splash damage? No! And that's our exit, so, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be right back grabbing my mega armor and supercharge, so just to save a couple seconds, I will see you later, yeah! Alright people, I am back, and I really hate Lost Souls because he hit me, and now I have far less health than I was supposed to, and yay, 100% everything! Entering the Altar of Pain, it's- Oh! What a way to be greeted, huh? You know, I actually do have to make a confession. Inviting Kako Demons over to anything, including, especially including, birthday parties, is a very bad idea. And I'll let you know that. Why do I know this? Well, let's just say, uh, one wise man to another, that you need to take advice from people who had experience. Alright? So, if that's not hint enough, then, well, uh... Yeah. But no. Alright, don't invite them for birthday parties. It's just a little word of advice. If you really want to know what they do, well then, uh, you, you deal with the mess they'll make, alright? And it's not even just that, alright? They feel that even anybody's birthday party, no matter what it is, it's, it's their birthday party. And they want to be the ones to blow out the candles, and to open up the presents, and, and, and to punch the piano. Which, I don't think Cacodemons punch very well, but they try to anyways. So, I just said I wasn't going to go on to this, but I am.
because that Cacodemon who I invited made me very mad. Anyways, we are in the Altar of Pain, which is very painful. It took many scient- I have hired many scientists to discover this. Many sacrifices and much blood was spilt to figure out this secret. The Altar of Pain is very painful. But no, really. Let's continue on. This level is, I guess, in a minimal sense of uh, non-linear. You really don't have to deal with any of these monsters whatsoever. But uh, it makes the things a lot easier. And jeez, that meteor was just so close to missing me, but it didn't. Hey! I took him out in two shots? What? Wait. I- what? I am- I guessing I'm having a brain fart at the moment. Uh... But yeah. <laughs> Anyways. This place does require you to pick up all the keys. Yes, like every time before. But it requires a little more exploration than otherwise needed to. And actually, there's an upcoming level that's actually very much similar to this design, in which you start off outside of, like, a fortress, stronghold, castle-like level structure, and you work your way inside, and then you work your way around the traps and monsters to find different keys and switches to get set keys and switches, and yeah always fun to do that and there's I think it in particular that level is much larger than this one and much larger in puzzle cuz uh, yeah when we get to it we will get to it so yeah what who's yelling you are you need the shush there's no yelling in hell all right there'll be hell to pay if you do so uh, no. Ammo is very delicious. Killing pinkies is even more delicious, because it has a satisfying death animation. Annoying pillars in the way, and if anybody remembers from my previous playthrough, then, uh, yeah, that place was really glitched up, and it was unable to be seen. But now we can see it perfectly fine, and as we activate that switch, these blocks disappear, so you have to do that in order to grab it. So, if I remember correctly where I put that blue door, it was right here. Right where I last put it. Hell, not in such close proximity! Another one such a close proximity! But no trouble whatsoever for the TK-10. Oh? Oh yeah! I spent, I spent ages in this level because I tried to figure out what the heck I was supposed to do because I was so lost. That is not a mega armor, even though it looks colored like one because of the lighting around it, but it's not. So you're- Whoa! Oh, come on, that happened my last playthrough, and I got spooked again by it? Jeez. So yeah, there's a switch behind it, you gotta activate that in order to activate yet another switch. And, uh, yeah. And since I've done that, I can go up here. I think I could've gone up here a little bit earlier, but- Oh, well, that doesn't really matter. Ollie, you. And can I make it back? Nope. The crying babies cry for my mistakes. Alright. Those babies need to... Shove off. Because they're big babies. That's my best comparison, and I'm sticking with it. It's very original. You settle down over there. Oh, come on, I want to kill you. Ah, fine. Whatever. Be that way. Hide from me, you little coward. We can go on this side. We can play with the switch, apparently. But no, if we go on this side, we can then activate... There we go. And that should open up more paths. I swear I sh shot you twice already, but fine. Where'd that one idiot go? I'll get him later. Um, let's see now. We jump down here. Then we go back to that one place where that imp was. Run around a full circle. Ah, there he is. I missed. I missed. 
I didn't miss that time, sucker. Alright, partial invisibility, in which I completely skipped the last time we saw that power up. I suppose I didn't really need it. And there's our orange <clears throat> red key. And I believe because of that, imps have spawned randomly around the place, which is oh so oodles and poodles of fun. Not. So what do we do now is that we go through that red door, but these imps are kind of a uh, annoying me just a little bit. Oh no you don't. Oh yeah! And another very there's actually something very unique about this level in which we get our last and new weapon. Oh no! Barons of Hells guarding our last weapon we will attain in the game. Ow! Alright, ow! Alright, you hurt my wee little feelings, and now I'm hurt and bleeding. But no. This weapon is unique in Doom 64 because I do not believe it appeared in any other Doom game. And I thank God I didn't shoot the staircase. I would have bitten my hand if I'd done that. There it is, in all of its glory. But first, let's go collect that goodies. Say hello to the Unmaker. And this weapon in particular is also very special in the way that it shoots laser beams. It shoots ancient Egyptian laser beams. So shoot the whoop has nothing on this. Now, it took down those Baron of Hells pretty damn easily. The reason being, well, not only it's a unique weapon to Doom 64, but it's also one of the unique wep- it's the only weapon in the game that can actually be upgraded. And what I mean is that, depends on what you do. Every time when you collect an artifact key, it enhances the, uh, the Unmaker. What the first key does, well, you can skip out some keys and collect others, but just to let you know, there's only three keys in the game. And to have the best un uh, Unmaker uh, upgrades, you gotta have all three. But it doesn't matter which key you collect, it, it enhances it by this order. The first key you obtain makes the speed of the laser about, oh, I guess I will safely say about double, maybe, but it is much noticeably faster. That much I can safely say. So, yeah. Um, and for the rest of the upgrades, well, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Shall we? I shall we, George. Maybe when I get the artifact keys, I will let you know. Just a wee will wit. Okay, so... Now we have the yellow key. We can do shenanigans. Because shenanigans is what we all aspire to do. Yellow key. Yellow key? Yellow key? Did I miss the yellow key? Oh, for heaven's sakes, I missed the yellow key. Where did I put that yellow key? Rabble, rabble, rabble. No, seriously, where did I put... Uh, where's that yellow key? I could. I should have gotten it by now. Oh, I know where it is. Ah. Uh, Fungus spin around in circles is my only form of defense. Alright. Gone the wrong way for it. It's over here. I'll grab you later, my beautiful. Now then, uh... Gone the completely wrong way again. <laughs> Not my day for directions wise. No, trust me, I, uh... I kind of need a GPS when I'm driving. It's very, very useful. And it's oh so useful. I can't... I literally, if you're like, okay, go I, go down I-186-543, and then take a left around Turnpike, make sure you don't cross the, the, the fork of the road, but take a, a slight right, not a hard right, but a slight right at this turn, I'll be like, what? Just give me a GPS, and I am A-OK. -okay. Hey, that's our exit. Why is it blocked? Really? The only guardian that you... Although hell is pretty... Uh, dangerous? It's not quite that smart. Sending in just only one guardian. 
Jeez. Anyways, we're not gonna do that just yet. What we're gonna do is collect the secret. Is there any other secrets that I can find at all? No! I didn't mean to jump off. Why is that there? That looks so suspicious. Anyways, let's go grab that supercharge. What I have to say about this supercharge is that this supercharge is the only one in the game where it's actually glitched up to the point that if you collect it when you move in a certain speed and in a certain direction, you get 999 health and 99 armor, and basically it takes forever for you to end sarcasm here. No. Alright, so the deal of this supercharge is not only it's going to be grabbed, but, uh, huh. You know, that actually does kind of look like an arrow. I'm gonna be a complete idiot, and... Oh, it's an invisible wall! With a Baron of... Ha Wait, how'd you get in here? No, seriously, I do not think that Baron of Hells have the speed to get up here at all. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the level to our second artifact key. Altar of Pain has been finished, and we leave the level of half the secrets. Aw. Entering the lair. So, question of the video is going to be in the description. I hope each and every one of you have a fantastic day. This is Tyrant Content signing off. I hope to see you in the next video. Peace!